All right, fam, let's get into this wash day, okay? So first thing first, wet the hair thoroughly. Most definitely have to make sure my hair is thoroughly wet because water is the base for moisture. So how you gonna have moisturizing wash day without using that water, sis? So for washing, I'm gonna use the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse and the Melanin Hair Care Black Soap Shampoo, African Black Soap. Now, the reason why I'm choosing two is because for the black soap, it is a clarifying shampoo so I'm only gonna be using this on my scalp since once again, I have not washed my hair in about two weeks. So my scalp is most definitely has kind of a lot of buildup and it's pretty dirty. So I wanted to really use something that's going to really get my scalp well and cleanse it. But I don't like the feeling, the strip feeling that it brings my hair. So I use the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse for the remaining parts of my hair and only use the African Black Soap at the root. And this really most definitely did help me. This is my first time using two different shampoos, but I am happy I did it because my end results were not stripped at all, but, but my scalp did feel really, really clean. And I just don't like the strip feeling, y'all. Like, you guys know it's not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. So this really helped me to combat that and still not having to sacrifice um, getting clean hair in the end because I used that Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse, which is great for cleaning and leaving me with a nice and clean feeling without the strip feeling, so I love it. So after going ahead and massaging that on in, of course I'm going to, um, well this time I kinda did something different also, I pinned my hair up um, instead of rinsing it out right here, so I just let it marinate a little bit while I did the other side, so just to make sure that, you know, everything was good in the hood, sis. <laughs> so after I went ahead and did that on the other side, then I'm gonna just go ahead and rinse on out. So whenever I rinse out, of course I'm using warm water, period. Low porosity, stand up, period. <laughs> Let me stop. But I'm also making sure to be very gentle with my hair. As you can see, I am literally taking my time with detangling any knots that I come across. And this is what my curls are looking like immediately after I have finished the shampooing process. So the curls most definitely do feel juicy and they were soft, so I'm happy I used those two shampoos. Now for my deep conditioner, I decided to go ahead and use the Chocolate Kinks and Curls Small Black Owned Business Stand Up. And this is the Pina Colada, Aloe Pina Colada Deep Conditioning Treatment. And guys, this has become, like literally has risen to like one of my favorite deep conditioner treatments to use because it has so much slip and the product just like, so like, my hair just soaks up the product so easily. And it also like makes my curls pop. Like my curls are really, really shining, doing the doggone thing. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and detangle. And one thing about detangling that I wanted to show you guys was how I start at the bottom and work my way on up. I do not start at the root, nor do I skip any steps. I start at the bottom, take my time, and work my way on up. And that, and this deep conditioner really allows me to um, detangle easily as well because it has a lot of slip. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and twist this portion up and move on to the next portion. And I like to twist my hair because I just feel like it helps it like soak in that deep conditioner better somehow. I just feel like it's better, so I'd rather do it this way. So now I'm gonna go and sit underneath my hooded dryer for 30 minutes. Boom, here I am. <laughs> Y'all, you gotta get that deep conditioning session in, okay? Do not skip the deep conditioning process. So now that we're done deep conditioning, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my plastic bag. And this is what the curls are looking like, y'all. So juicy. Just, y'all saw that definition? Popping, okay? So I went ahead and rinsed this out with warm water. And now I'm gonna follow up with my leave-in conditioner. Of course, I'm applying it in the shower. And I'm using the Trey Lux Untie the Knot. This one is like super moisturizing and I really, really do love it. So now let's go ahead and get into the styling process. So we out of the shower and now let's get into the styling part. Y'all, that was a great wash day right there. Like, my curls feel so rejuvenated and just juicy, okay? So for the styling, we're going to be using the Ajwa Beauty Biomint Curl Defining Cream as well as the Biomint Oil Blend. So I'm gonna be using both of these, but let's go ahead and look at the hair, y'all. Hmm, just fresh. 
fresh and rejuvenated and juicy, okay? So let's go ahead and get to twisting. Quick question, do y'all clean y'all brushes out before you use them again? Like get all the old hair out before you like start to use it on your clean hair? Do y'all do that or y'all just go in with the same brush with the dirty hair in it and brush your hair? Let me know, cause sis, I gotta clean this brush out before I can even use it and touch these clean strands, okay? <laughs> So I'm gonna go in and detangle as usual. And y'all, we have not done a twist out together in so long. Like, whew, I'm so happy to be back to my usual. So I just now applied the cream to this piece. And y'all, this cream is really, really moisturizing. Like honestly, I did not even need all that I just now put on it. But hey. When you're using Ajwa Beauty, you gotta use Ajwa Beauty, okay? So, um, so I just now applied the oil to this section as well. And now I'm gonna start to twist. And don't forget y'all, whenever you're doing your twist outs, start that twist tight at the roots and twist with a purpose. Don't just be twisting to twist. You need to twist for the results, okay? Keep in mind that this twist is going to be the style that you're going to be rocking. So twist with a purpose, sis, okay? And once you get towards the end, go ahead and curl that end around your finger about an inch above the end and voila, a nice curled end, sis. Yes, look at that. And also I want to tell you guys, I'm sorry about the sound issues we've been having. Um, hopefully this video sounds better because I'm not using the microphone anymore. Something like it just, the microphone sounds great, but it's something about when, how it, um, goes over to YouTube, it loses sound for some people. So I'm just going to stay away from the microphone because we've been doing just fine, like the normal way. So I wish I could use it, but I just don't want to keep on risking good content not being able to be heard by everyone, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna go and apply the oil. And once again, and just to reiterate, I use oil to seal in the moisture for my leave-in conditioner and my cream, which is why I use oil last. So I follow the LCO method, leave-in, cream, and then oil. When you're doing your twist out, it's really important that you are detangling at least halfway through each piece because if you don't detangle, then you're gonna have frizz when you go to unwind and separate because your hair was not detangled when you installed the twist. So you have to make sure that you are detangling before you install the twist and about halfway finished installing, you wanna go ahead and detangle again to make sure that the whole twist is nice and detangled. Case in point, I'm halfway finished. I'm gonna take my brush and detangle. Now, my finger is in between both of these pieces of hair, okay? So you wanna keep those two pieces separate. That's also important. Do not combine those two pieces and then brush them together as one and then separate them again to, co to continue twisting because you're gonna share hair. And when you share hair, you welcome frizz, okay? And a lot of undefined twist out results that we don't want over here. <laughs> So when I get towards the end, I'm gonna curl around the end. Bring both of those two pieces together, and boom. Mm. Nice and juicy, y'all. to do a style on my hair. The back's gonna be a twist out and the front's gonna be slid down, which is gonna be so cute. So all I'm gonna do is just part from here, the top of my head to my ear. Like this. And this part does not have to be perfect and it won't be perfect. Then I'm gonna install a twist right here. 
So now all the twists are finished and are very, very juicy, might I add. So now we're gonna move on to the front part. And guys, I did this style before. Um, it was when I did the side part with the twist style in the back. It was with Bounce Curl. I'm sure you guys remember that style that I did. It was on my fall wash day routine. And we absolutely love that hairstyle. So I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing. And I love this style so much because it literally saves you so much time in case you don't wanna like, in case you're in a rush or if you don't have the time to do like a whole twist out, you can do a cute twist and style. So I went ahead and made a deep side part and I'm gonna slick this side down and also slick this side down. Detangle the side right here. And I'm, doing, I'm gonna do the same thing to each side. So I'm just gonna show you guys one side. So I'm gonna just go ahead and detangle, make sure everything is smooth. And you wanna make sure it's smooth because that's when your waves are gonna pop the most whenever your hair is smoothed out. And the wave just, you know, amp up the style even more. So this has enough product on it. I'm not gonna add any more product or anything. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the gel. And I'm gonna just use this Cantu gel right here. You guys know I will use this for slicking back stuff, but I will never use it to style like a wash and go or anything. No. And then I'm going to brush to smooth it out. And you guys can already see the waves like starting to form and everything. And then you're just gonna go like this, push it behind your ear. Boom, and it's slicked back, right? Now I'm gonna take this piece right here that's still hanging and go ahead and twist this up. Boom, so this side is done and it's nice and slicked back and that's really all you need is for, it, is for it to be slicked back and the wave starting to form. So I'm gonna go to the other side. All right, boom. So I slick this side down as well. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and comb out my edges into how I want them to look. And I'm just using the Cantu gel, not my typical edge control. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go in and tie the slick part down with my scarf. All right, so it's tied down. Now I'm gonna go sit underneath my hooded dryer for a good bit. Hopefully it can dry pretty quickly because I want to take this style out today. So let's hope for the best. So here we are with the hair dry. So my twists are dry. This, this fat twist, by the way, is just this hair right here um, that I slipped back. I just twisted it all into one chunky twist. And all the smaller twists are now dry. So y'all know the drill. We're going to put some oil in our hands. And I sat underneath my hooded dryer for like an hour and a half. So twists are fully dry. So let's go ahead and take it down and see what they're looking like. And of course, whenever you are taking down your twist, do not forget to start at the bottom and then work your way on up. That is so important to getting a pop and twist out. Start at the bottom, pull the two pieces apart, and then continue to work your way on up, pulling the two pieces apart. So I'm gonna take one of the pieces that I already separated and y'all can see like this definition though is lit. So let's go ahead and separate into smaller pieces and then curl around the end to emphasize that curl. Keep on separating and then curl around the end to emphasize the curl at the end. Boom. Boom, so I separate that one piece four times. Now I'm gonna do this one, the same exact thing. You wanna run your fingers along the twist and find the point of separation and then pull apart right there. Do not force any 
type of separation because that will cause y'all know what frizz so i separated a good bit over here and that's what it's looking like it looks really really good so let's go ahead and do the whole head all right fam so look at the final results okay like y'all this is beautiful absolutely beautiful like the definition is so bomb it's giving me a lot of volume as well which i love i do wish my ear was covered up a bit more of my hair on this side but that's okay but like the definition y'all is so perfect and like to say i did this entire style in one day i washed earlier today and the style is finished today like this is beautiful Okay, and I'm really happy that I did it so quickly because I got somewhere to be and now I could be cute. I was looking ratchet this morning. Oh my God. Now I'm looking cute, girl. <laughs> so this is the final result to y'all. I got so much volume and definition at the same time, which is once again, why I love using Ajwa Beauty, like come through, okay? So let me know what you guys think about this entire wash day routine in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you, okay? And thank you so much for tuning in. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the girls fam, okay? Smash that button, sis, or bro. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video.